voice wherever you are. Begin to begin to thank him for life. Let him hear your voice this morning.
kingdom come. Let it be done in this church today as it is done in heaven. Lord, we have come to honor you. We have come to show appreciation to you. Have your way today. Holy Spirit, we invite you here to manifest yourself as never before. Help us to correct things that need to be corrected. Help us to see things we need to see. Help us to accept your word and apply your word in our lives. Father, thank you for keeping us alive to witness this day again this year. Amen. We trust in your word. We believe in your word. And we have faith in your word. And we believe that your word will manifest. We thank you for the opportunity to serve you in this city without hindrance. We thank you because we can gather together to worship you. We come against every power of the enemy, every spirit of discouragement, every spirit of indifference. We shatter it by the power of the living God. Thank you, Father, for restoring families, for reinstating the authority of the Father in the home. Thank you for unity that is being brought to the different homes right now. Amen. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And the church says, Amen. Somebody give the Lord a clap. Amen. Please don't raise your hand because if you get into trouble at home, I will not be there. <laughs> I just asked a question. I didn't see the response. Well, the first uh, gift you should have received in the morning is good morning, happy Father's Day. So that should have been the first gift you get. So if you, uh, if you didn't do that, may the Lord forgive you. Als je dat niet hebt gedaan, dat de Heer. Uh, because sometimes we can be so busy, we forget very little, but very essential things. Soms zijn we zo druk en dan vergeten we de kleine, maar het zeer belangrijke. Sometimes we pursue something that is so big, Soms and the little things that makes our life better, we forget them. Soms jagen we dan hele grote dingen na, en terwijl de hele kleine essentiële dingen vergeten. Okay, let me quickly say this to all the men. You are great fathers. I wish I was talking to the women. They would shout Amen. Amen. The men, they are like, okay. And you think because you are, I'm afraid of you, that's why I said it? I said it because you are. Amen. Amen. Long time ago, the devil thought you would resign. But you still stayed on. But you are still hanging on there. Oh, tap somebody by your side. I'm still hanging on there. I'm still hanging on there. Please, if you are sitting next to your wife, don't be afraid. Tap her. Say, I'm still hanging on. Come on, tap. If she's, tap her. Say, I'm still hanging on. I'm not going anywhere. Somebody shout. Don't be afraid. I'm not going anywhere. Somebody shout hallelujah. Today I'm going to be talking to you very quickly. I'm still checking the sound. I'm going to be talking to you 
about over. some mistakes which we make as parents unintentionally that affects our children. So if I were you, I'll get a piece of paper, get a pen and write. Because when it comes about parenting, we all pretend that we know it. Every parent is an expert in raising a child. Everyone you talk to will tell you, I know, I know, I know. Look at my children. Yes, we applaud you. Ja, wij geven u een, u een applaus. But the game is not over yet. Maar het spel is nog niet voorbij. So the more knowledge you get, dus meer kennis en wijsheid dat u krijgt, the better for you. dan is het beter voor u. Now let's go back to the beginning of the beginning. Laten we dan teruggaan naar het, het begin van het begin. God, our creator. God onze schepper. After he has created everything. Nadat hij alles had geschapen. There was a board meeting in heaven. Dan was er dan een, 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 een overleg in de hemel. It was a serious board meeting. Het was een zeer serieus overleg. God the Father was there. God the Father was daar. God the Son was there. God the Son was daar. And God the Holy Ghost was there. En God de Heilige Geest was er ook They came together. Ze zijn samen bij elkaar gekomen. And they say we have created wonderful things. En ze zeiden we hebben geweldige dingen geschapen. Remember God will speak the word. En herinner u God zou dan het woord spreken. Let there be. Laat er zijn. And Jesus will make sure that it is. En Jezus zou verzekeren dat het dan is. And the power for it to be was from the Holy Ghost. En de kracht om dat om het te verwezenlijken dat kwam van de Heilige Geest. But when it came to man. Maar toen het kwam bij de mens. There was a serious board meeting in heaven. Toen was er een, een serieus overleg in de hemel. And then it was put on the table. En toen werd het dan daar op tafel gelegd. We have created everything. We hebben alles geschapen. Look at how wonderful it is. Maar kijk hoe dan geweldig het uitziet. They are all good. Alles is zo heel But there is something we, can, we, we have to discuss right now. Maar er is iets wat we dan nu met elkaar moeten bespreken. And God the Father put it on the table. En God de Vader legde dat op tafel. He said, let us make man. En hij zei op dat moment, laten we dan de man maken. In our own image. Naar ons eigen uh, evenbeeld. And in our own likeness. En naar onze eigen gelijkenis. That means, dat betekent, let's create something that looks like us. Dat betekent, laat ons iets scheppen die dan eruit ziet zoals wij. That talks the way we talk. Die praat zoals wij. That act the way we act. Die handelt zoals wij. That has emotion like we. Die emoties heeft zoals wij. That can do what we can do. Dat kan doen datgene die wij kunnen. That has our characteristics. Die onze karaktereigenschappen bezit. We need him. We hebben hem nodig. Not in heaven. Niet in de hemel. We want him on earth. Maar die moet hier op de wereld. So that he can take care of the things we have created. Zodat so hij dan ervoor kan zorgen voor de dingen die wij geschapen hebben. Let us make man. Laten we dan de mens scheppen. Before this time it was God spoke. Voor deze tijd was het steeds God sprak. And it was. En het was. Of course I told you the process. En het proces heb ik al reeds uitgelegd. God speaks. God spreekt. Jesus does it. Jesus doet het. And the power to do it is from the Holy Ghost. En de, de kracht om het te doen komt vanuit de Heilige Geest. But when it came to you and me. Maar toen het dan kwam op het punt dat wij zijn geschapen. We were not spoken out like that. We zijn dan niet zo uitgesproken. Let us. Je zei laat ons. Make man. Mens maken. In our own image. Naar ons evenbeeld. It was a corporate Performance. It was dan een, een samenwerking. It was a teamwork. It was a teamwork. It was intelligently crafted by the three most powerful godheads for it, us to exist. It was dan met deze drie uh, uh, waren overeengekomen en die hebben het uitgetekend van hoe wij dan eruit zouden moeten zien. It was created out of the wisdom of these three godheads. En het was dan vanuit deze drie eenheid, vanuit hun wijsheid, zijn wij dan getekend. En, en Adam was created. En toen werd Adam geschapen. 
Somebody say, Adam was created. Adam was created. Say, Adam was created. Adam was created. So the creation of man is a combination of the wisdom of the three Godhead. Let me ask you now, let me just divert a little bit. And the government tells you that you alone can raise a child to perfection. Without help. But let me shock you also. With the perfection of these three Godheads, they came down again. And they saw the man. And they said, now listen, they said, it is not good for man to be alone. For the man om alleen te zijn. Another board meeting. Nog een ontmoeting, nog een overleg. Let's make. Laat ons. Somebody. Laat ons iemand maken. Who will help him? Die een helper. That is equal to him. Die dan gelijkwaardig is. Not less than him. Niet minder als hem. That has capacity and capability like him. Maar die dan wel gekwalificeerd is en die de capaciteiten heeft. But has the role. Maar die de rol heeft. To help. Om te helpen. And that's how Eve was created. En zo werd Eva geschapen. God does not create something without a purpose. God is geeft niet iets zonder. Everything He does has a purpose. Alles wat Hij dan do doet en schept. It becomes corrupt when we decide to reassign purpose to it by our own wisdom instead of godly wisdom. Wij zijn degene die dan de rollen ver ver veranderen en daarom. Uh, is er sprake van corruptie. Am I talking to anybody here today? <laughs> you won't say amen now, you are afraid. Am I talking to anybody here? That is the Bible, that is the constitution of the church, that is the kingdom of God. En dat is de Bijbel en dat is dan het koninkrijk van God. In spite of what was put on them, they failed. Somebody said they failed. In tegenstelling tot dat. Oh, somebody said they failed. Laten we zijn ze gefaald in tegenstelling tot datgene wat over hun leven geplaatst was. They just landed in a very beautiful place. Everything already there. It's like I mean, how many of you have lodged in five star hotel? Don't raise your hand. Have you know? Because the, the first day they put me in five star hotel. Let me tell you the truth. When I entered, I said, "What do I need this for?" The Somebody say, man, my idea of hotel is one room, one small place, I lie down. But this one, I have sitting room, I have uh, uh, pavement, I have this, I have two bed, two sitting room. The bed is as big as this side, and my wife was not there, so... <laughs> Somebody say, man, I could play football on the bed. Ik kon voetbal spelen daar. So when they left, I said, what do I need this for? Dus toen ze dan weg waren, dacht ik bij mezelf wel, waarom heb ik dan zo'n kamer? Somebody shouts, hallelujah. You can imagine Adam and Eve moving around, whatever they wanted was available to them. Je moet je dan voorstellen, Adam en Eva daar in een geweldige plek, en ze konden dan rondlopen en doen wat ze dan wilden. They were only asked not to eat one thing. Maar er aan hun werd gevraagd om alleen maar één ding niet te eten. And when they spoke to them, En wanneer dat u gesproken werd, they went to eat it. gingen ze het wel doen. And they failed. En toen faalden ze. Even God himself. Zelfs God. Did not stop them from failing. Kon hun niet weerhouden van het falen. Uh, I want every father and mother to tell yourself I'm doing well. En ik wil zeggen I'm doing well. I'm doing my best. Ik doe mijn best. Amen. Amen. They never went through a process. They became adult at once. And they had more than enough. They never learned how to take one step at a time. They sprang into prosperity. They didn't know what is called systems and process. Parenting has to do with systems and processes. 
opgoeden heeft te maken met systemen en processen. And when you take people through systems and process, you get problems on the road. En als je mensen meeneemt in systemen en processen, dan zul je onderweg problemen tegen. Life is about process. Het leven gaat om processen. And every process has its pros and cons. En elk proces die heeft dan zijn, zijn zaken die dan op hun pad zullen komen. I mean, uh, some advantages and disadvantages. En dan heb je voor- en tegenspoed. Every process has its own challenges. Elk proces heeft zijn eigen uitdaging. And you cannot escape one process. En je kan dan niet vanuit één proces ontstaan. And jump into the other process. En in een volgend proces springen. It will not be beneficial to you. Het zal dan niet in je voordeel zijn. That's why I began in the morning. En daarom begon ik in de ochtend. With dysfunctional families. Met families die niet goed functioneren. The first one God started. En het eerste waarmee God startte. Became dysfunctional. Die functioneerde dan in één keer niet meer goed. And then let's go to Abraham. En laten we dan gaan naar Abraham. Don't worry, by the time we get to Revelation, it will be around six o'clock. We'll go. <laughs> Amen. Als we bij Openbaring komen, dan zal het zes uur zijn. Abraham, we all know that in at home there was a time that the issue was very tough about Ishmael and uh, Isaac. Is that correct? We weten dat ook. It was a very tough case. Het was dan heel zwaar geworden tussen Ishmael en Isaac. The two women were fighting. De twee vrouwen die waren aan het vechten. And Sarah demanded that Ishmael and the mother should be sent away. En Sarah die zei die beveelde dat uh, Ishmael en de moeder die zouden dan moeten vertrekken. And the father of all nations. En de vader van alle naties. A man of faith. Een man van geloof. A man of belief. Een man vol geloof. The man who waited for so long to have one child. De man die zo lang heeft gewacht voor één. He didn't know how to solve a family problem. He wist niet hoe hij dan deze familieprobleem moest oplossen. Because Sarah says, you know what? But Sarah said, weet je? I don't want Ismael around my son. Ik wil dan niet meer dat Ismael dan hier rond mijn zoon zit. Send him and the mother away. Je moet hem en de moeder wegsturen. Abraham was confused. En Abraham die was in verwarring. He took the intervention of God Himself. En hij nam dan de interventie van God zelf. To come to Abraham. Om tot Abraham te komen. Say, hey! En die zei, hey. Listen to your wife. Luister. Send Ismaël en de moeder weg. En send Ismaël, Ismaël en de moeder weg. So if you are confused today in your family, you need to go to God so that God can help you. Dus als je vandaag in een bent met problemen van je familie, ga naar God toe en hij zal u dan. Then we look at Isaac. En dan kijken we naar Isaac. He was very quiet man. Het was een hele stille man. We don't have much about what happened with his family. We hebben dan niet veel over hetgene wat hij speelde in zijn leven. Apart from the fact that he was a very romantic man. En die was een hele romantische man. Because he used to play with his wife on the field and all that. We have that record. Dat is het is probably recorded here. En dat wordt dan. Somebody shout hallelujah. And then they were bringing his wife. He went to the top of the hill, and when he saw her, he said, "Mamma mia." We all have records. We hebben dan al die geschiedenis. On the in the Bible, we see it. Hij is een hele romantische man. But again. Maar nogmaals. We can see the issue that came with him. We 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 kunnen dan erkennen dan de problemen die dan kwamen in zijn leven. Esau en Jacob. Esau en Jacob. Oh, you all know. Wij weten dat allemaal. And we also know how Jacob was able to manage his numerous wives and children, and, and and all his twelve sons, and how he loved Joseph more than. Somebody say more than. Hey, somebody say more than. Are you guilty of more than? He sold him a special coat. En die had een speciale mantel voor. With different colors. Met verschillende kleuren. So that he can be different from the rest. Zodat hij dan anders zou zijn als de rest. Are you guilty? Ben jij dan schuldig? Did you sew a coat of different colors for one of your child? Heb je dan een speciale mantel gemaakt voor een van jouw kinderen die in jouw ogen bijzonder zijn? Because the rest of them we know. Want de anderen die zullen dat weten. And they will plot. En dan zullen ze dan in... They will plot, they will plan. Dan zullen ze plannen. And throw him inside the pit. En hem dan in de put gooien. No physical pit this time, they will go to prison. Niet het fysieke, maar dan zullen ze in de gevangenis belanden. But the pit that you will not plan out. 
maar een punt waar jij nog niks van zal, zal weten. Somebody say amen. amen. Sometimes we make mistakes. Soms maken we fouten. Without knowing. Zonder te weten. How many of you know the story in uh, Luke chapter 15? I think so. Hoeveel van ons weten dan het verhaal in Lucas 15? Starting from verse 11 to 32. Vanaf vers 11 tot 32. The prodigal son. Het verhaal van de verloren zoon. You know, the beauty of the prodigal son is, the Bible says that every morning the father will come out and look towards a particular direction, expecting the son to come. Het mooiste van dit verhaal is dat de Bijbel beschrijft dat elke ochtend de vader op een bepaalde positie zou staan en dan zou uitkijken naar de verte in afwachting, in verwachting naar de zoon. And the report that the elder brother gave, en het verhaal, het verslag dat de oudere broer gaf, When he understood that the biggest father's cow was killed for the for the younger brother, shows that he knew where the brother was. And that that told that uh, the brother wist where the where the brother from that from. I want you to listen because when you hear people that song, you say I know the story. You don't know. You, you, you will find out that there's something you don't know. Je zou dan vandaag ontdekken dat er iets is dat je dat niet weet. From this Bible, vanuit deze Bijbel, we can sift it out. Kunnen we dat uithalen? That if the father really wanted to go get him. Dat als de vader dat werkelijk wilde uh, om, te, om, om, om hem uit die situatie te halen. He had enough intelligent report. Hij had genoeg intelligente informatie. He had, intelli he had enough resources. En hij had genoeg bronnen. He had enough men. En hij had genoeg mannen to go and get him. om die zoon te gaan halen. But he never went. Maar hij ging nooit om he was te gaan Maar hij was aan het wachten. And praying en hij was in gebed. That he will get back to his senses. Dat die zoon dan terug zal keren tot zijn denken. How many of you will do that? Hoeveel van ons zouden dat doen? <laughs> no way. <laughs> you will petition God. We zouden dan naar God toe gaan. Bring him back, bring him back. En dan God zeggen van breng hem terug, breng hem terug, breng hem terug. Breng hem weg, breng hem terug. Bring him back, bring him back. Bom dat plek, bom dat plek, bom dat plek. Bram die plek, bram die plek. Let them drag him, let them drag him. Laat ze, laat ze hem wegjagen van die plek. Laat ze hem wegjagen. Let them go, let them go. Laat er verwarring zijn daar in die plek, zodat hij terug zal keren. The more you pray that, the more, the more there is peace and delicious food there. Somebody shout hallelujah. Because God does not work like that. I will share with you why. What are the mistakes we make? That affects the confidence of our children. And also the self-esteem of our children. And also the self-esteem. Van onze kinderen beïnvloeden. Number one. Nummer één. When we prevent them from making mistakes. Wanneer we. <laughs> you see, it's very difficult for us to introduce. Wanneer we vermijden. Because she doesn't expect that one. When we prevent them from making mistakes. Wanneer we vermijden dat ze fouten maken. It is very, 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 very painful and tough for you to watch your child fail. Mm. Het is heel pijnlijk en heel zwaar om te zien hoe jouw kind faalt. Or to see your child go through something you would have been able to tell the child not to do. Of dat je ziet dat je een kind door iets heen, uh, heen gaat, terwijl je dan wist dat jij dat kind daarvan kon weerhouden. When you know they are going to fall, we always rush in so that they don't fall. Wanneer wij al weten en vooruit zien dat ze zullen falen, dan rennen we en we willen hun daarvoor. Even from the first time of their steps. Zelfs op bij hun eerste stap die ze namen. First time of the time. You are not the one who raised them up. God raised them up to take steps. And now you are even crawling your knees, making sure they don't fall. En dan wil je Somebody shout hallelujah. And when they fall, en als ze vallen, you take your phone. Dan pak je dan je telefoon. You call your mother. En dan bel je dan je You call your auntie. Of je tante. You call your grandmother. Of je grootmoeder. You call your friends. Of je vrienden. Oh, my child fell today. En dan vertel je, oh, mijn kind die is gevallen. He took the first steps. Oh, die heeft de eerste stap Oh, 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 poor child. Oh, arme kind van mij. And then he still fell. En toen viel die. Oh, my heart is broken. Oh, mijn hart was zo gebroken. So you don't want him to walk again. Dus je wil niet meer dat dat kind gaat proberen te lopen. 
the child must work. <coughs> he must fall. He must fall. And get up. And he will get bruises. He will get bruises. And he fell down. Breaker. He goes to play football. He comes back. You are now the house ass. You will examine every part of that child body. And you go to the house, but you go to the alles on the zoek by the lichaam van dat kind kijken of er niks gebroken is. Heb je pijn? Heb je pijn? Do you have pain? This football team. This this football team. If he doesn't fall, how will he know how to play? Maar als die dan niet faalt, hoe kan hij leren om het beter te spelen? It is called love. Dat noemen we liefde. But it doesn't help the child. Maar het helpt het kind niet. Sometimes they need to make some mistakes. Soms dan moeten ze dan fouten maken. And then they learn from it. En dan kunnen ze van leren. Actually, when you talk to them and they don't listen. En in het bijzonder als je tot hen spreekt en ze willen niet luisteren. And you talk and talk and talk. En dan praat je en praat je en praat. And they don't want to listen. And I'm willing to listen. You leave them. The latter. Life is a teacher. Het leven is dan ook. Vanuit het leven krijg je ook onderwijs. No, no, no. You leave that pretty well. That pretty well talk. Life is a teacher. Het leven is ook een meester. Yes. Life is a teacher. Het leven is ook een meester. You can hate every teacher in your life. Je kan elke meester van uw leven haten. But life will teach you a lesson. Maar het leven zal u een les leren. You can't escape it. Dat kun je niet van ontsnappen. And sometimes we try so that our children will not go through life because we know how painful it can be when life teaches you a lesson. En soms proberen omdat wij weten hoe pijnlijk het is als het leven jou een les leert, en dan willen we onze kinderen daarvan beschermen. But when you let them make mistakes, but als je dan hen toelaat om fouten te maken, they feel pain. Dan voelen ze de pijn. They get better. En dan worden ze beter. And they have better self-confidence. En dan hebben ze ook meer zelfvertrouwen. And they have self-esteem. En zelfwaarde. Number two. Number two. I don't want you to agree with me, but it's true. Ik wil niet dat je met mij eens bent, maar het is waar. Number two. Number two. Letting our children escape responsibility. Het toelaten dat onze kinderen hun verantwoordelijkheden niet aannemen. Letting them escape responsibility. Hun de ruimte geven dat ze van hun verantwoordelijkheden. No, we don't let them do it. We laten we laten hun niet hun verantwoordelijkheid nemen. No, 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 no. We zeggen nee, nee, nee. En dan zeggen we, oh nee, dat hoeft niet. Het is very busy. Ja, maar die heeft het zo druk. No, 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 no. Nee, het hoeft niet. I will do it. Ik, ik zal het zelf doen. The child is not taught how to do house chores. En het kind heeft nooit geleerd om dan huishoudelijk werk te doen. And when you ask the child to do it, it's angry and creating confusion in the whole house. So you don't want headache, then you should not do it. Op elk moment dat je dan je kind wil laten uh, oefenen met het huishouden, dan wordt het zo'n probleem dat je dan nu vermijdt om al dat probleem te hebben, dus je gaat het zelf doen. There is no assignment for the child at home. Er is geen enkele taak voor het, voor het kind thuis. That you can hold the child responsible for. Dat je dan het kind daarvoor verantwoordelijk kunt. No wonder when they grow up they can't hold a job. En daarom is het dan geen verbazing dat als ze wat ouder zijn. Dat ze dan geen Especially when they say I don't like this thing. En in het bijzonder als ze dan zeggen van oh ik hou niet hier. I don't like to clean the toilet. Ik, ik, ik hou er niet van om dan, dan het toilet schoon te maken. But you love mama. Maar je houdt wel van moeder. Van you have to help me here. But you love your mother. Maar je houdt van je moeder. And your mother cleans the toilet. En je moeder die maakt dan het toilet schoon. And you go there to do your housework. En je gaat daar dan je ding doen. But you are too big to clean it. Maar je bent dan te groot om het schoon te maken. Where is the love? Waar is de liefde dan? I think if you love them. Ik denk dat als je dan hun lief hebt. You should take that in away from them and do it yourself. Dan moet je dan juist die taken van hun afnemen en het zelf doen. We don't allow people to have responsibility. We staan mensen niet toe om hun verantwoordelijkheden. They get tired easily. En dan raken we daar heel snel moe. Because they were never, never consequently trained to do it. Want ze zijn nooit consequent uh, 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 geleerd om dat te doen. If you are a man. 
Als je dan een man bent. You don't listen to your wife. You don't listen to your mother. En je luistert niet naar je moeder. On how to clean the house. Om hoe dan het huis te schoon te houden. And your mother said no problem. En je moeder die zegt van oh, dit is geen probleem. No problem. Geen probleem. You will get into relationship. Dan ga je dan in relaties. You will see a copy of your mother without me. En dan zie je dan een kopie van jouw moeder in die persoon. When you throw your shoes, she will tell you, come back, come and collect your shoes. <laughs> come on. And one day, she will say something that will break your heart. The first time she tell you, I'm not your servant. That one doesn't hurt you. No, no, no. You just laugh, say, yeah, come on. You have to for mine. She will laugh. One day, she will look at you. Dan zou zij dan jou aankijken. And Sam, not your mother. En die zegt maar, ik ben jouw moeder. Say, you say, did you talk to my mother? He say no. And I know that's how you were behaving. That's why you cannot even stretch the bed or put it. Da daarom ben je niet in staat om niet eens het bed te maken, op te maken. Somebody shout hallelujah. So those of you who are protecting them, dus you are not allowing them to take responsibility. Dus degene van ons die hun zo beschermt en hun niet toestaan om hun verantwoordelijkheden te nemen. Please make an extra room at home because they will come back. Maak een extra room. Somebody shout hallelujah. Ze zullen terugkomen. They will come back. Ze zullen terugkomen. To learn. Om te leren. Or to complain. Of om te klagen. I'm a pastor here. I see everybody. Ik ben hier een pastor en ik zie iedereen. It doesn't matter your age. Het maakt niet uit wat voor leeftijd. I can know if you have been trained to have responsibility or not. Ik kan dan weten of je dan getraind bent of niet om een verantwoordelijkheid te hebben. It's not whether it is nice or you do it every day. It is how you do it every day with joy, improving on needs and doing it. Not caring if anybody does it or not. It shows you are a responsible human being. Het laat dan zien hoe verantwoordelijk. If you have to be pursued every time and spoken to and encouraged and talked to and you're not responsible. Als mensen jou moeten najagen en tot jou moeten spreken en dan Oh, somebody tell me that you go to work. You go to work because they pay you. Je gaat naar het werk omdat ze jou betalen. You are afraid of the payment. En dan ben je daarvoor bang. If they remove the money, maar als ze dan het geld zouden weghalen, you will not go to work. Dan zou je niet naar het werk gaan. You serve the money. Je dient. We are talking about what you do, even if they don't pay you, but you keep doing it. Maar we hebben het hier over de 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 dingen die je doet, zonder dat mensen je hoeven te betalen, en je blijft het ook nog doen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. What? Hallelujah is very low. When you teach them to take out the trash, teach them to do the laundry, teach them to do certain things, and they can do it. They feel capable and competent. They feel it. They feel it. They feel it. They feel it. They feel happy. That I can do it. Oh, the children they are looking at me. I'm not talking to you. I don't know your parents. Don't worry. I don't live in your house, so I don't know what happened. I'm talking to parents. So that they can correct it immediately. So that they can correct it immediately. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number three. Number three. We're already closing. Protecting them from their emotions. Beschermen voor hun eigen emoties. We protect them from their emotions. We beschermen hun voor hun emoties. When they are angry. Wanneer ze... We make sure they are not angry. Then we can be sure that they are not angry. We give them gifts immediately. And then we give them a gift. We want to make it look good. 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 We want to make it look you know I'm the first song, so I think the police can do like that. When they put their eyes and say, I'm not going to eat that food. They were looking at how you put it. And I said, oh, it's all that I'm going to eat. I am angry, I'm not going to eat. And I said, oh, I'm angry, I'm not going to eat. My mother said, you're angry, sir. And my mother said, oh, are you angry? I cook, you don't want to eat. And I have cooked and you don't want to eat? Okay. Oh, it's good. I will stay in the corner. They will eat, clean the plates, <laughs> wash everything in my <laughs> presence. Alles and so the alles opruimen and afwas doen. 
and then begin to tell some stories how spirit will visit those who did not eat. <laughs> I tell you, those days are the longest nights. Because you want the day to break, at least you can take breakfast. <laughs> oh, you think my mother will come and tell you, come and the minute I go and give me food? No, you decided if you will sleep without food. So when I got married, dus toen ik trouwde, I learned a lesson. Heb ik dan een no matter how, how angry I am, I don't regret it. I regret <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> because the food is not part of the problem. Want het eten is niet deel van het probleem. We will settle later, but I will eat. Later we goed maken, maar nu ga ik eten. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. She is there, you can go and ask her, I never rejected food one day because I'm hungry. I will eat. Ik heb geen eten gekregen. Because where I rejected it before, that woman did not give me food. But where I had the first time rejected, the woman had never given me food. So don't try to, you know, oh, emotional. No, sometimes they need to express their emotions, and you need to listen to them and find out what's going on. And if you need to cry with them, cry with them, but don't let them stay in it for too long. Soms moeten ze de ruimte krijgen om hun emoties te ervaren en dan moet je naar hun luisteren en soms ook met hun meehuilen. Maar laat niet dat het een lange tijd, dat ze een lange tijd daarin blijven. And please do not put what is not in the Bible. En alsjeblieft ga geen dingen citeren die niet in de Bijbel staan. Men don't cry. Mannen huilen. It's not true. Het is niet waar. It is biblically wrong. Het is Bijbels niet goed. Because the Bible told us. Want de Bijbel die zegt tegen ons. That Jesus wept. That Jesus so if he wept dus weet, at the tomb of Lazarus, who is the man not Lazarus, to cry? Wij, because we tell our men they don't cry, they bottle up and no emotion and they are moving like this. And now, on that for mannen hebben geleerd dat ze niet mogen huilen, daarom hebben ze dan zichzelf zo gemaakt en lopen zo groot op en neer. Brothers, please let me talk to you. Brothers, let me talk to you straight. When it's too heavy, when it's too serious, put your head on the chest of your wife and pour it out. And then lay down your 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 head on on the shoulders of your wife and let it out. Let the water wet all her clothes. Let the water but out strong. It's part of the bonding. It is a part of the bonding. She's never going to tell anybody. And she will not. She will not tell it. And she will know you are a human being. And she will know that you are a man. We all feel pain. We feel all of pain. Don't we feel pain? Feel we feel pain? Even men feel pain too. Men feel also pain. Be a man, don't cry, huh? You better raise a man and tell me. Don't take that advice. It's not correct. That advice is not correct. You better talk a man. See who you are. But I'm not telling you not to be crying all over you. Now you need to go around. You see that one. That you go around with that one. Number four. We are almost done. Number four. Accepting a victim mentality. It it accepting of a slaughter mentality. Saying things like this to your children, we cannot afford that shoe. Do it. Say it from. We can't afford these new shoes like the other kids. Oh, we can't afford these new shoes like the other kids. Oh, we can't afford these new shoes like the other kids. Because we come from a poor background. Because we come from a poor background. It makes your child to lose self-confidence and lose self-esteem. These these actions make that our children lose self-worth and self-confidence. Rather, show them more choices where they can choose from. Laat ze dan juist meer de keuzes zien waaruit ze kunnen kiezen. Speak out the words that will strengthen them. Spreek de woorden uit die hun zal versterken. Oh, you know where we come from. Our people never rise up to that thing. No, that's all. Oh, we we I live by our people. No, no, no. Oh, our color people don't get that. No, that's wrong. Oh, our color, red color people don't come from that. At least you need to know who you are. You must know who you are. Don't aim too high. Don't aim too high. No, that's wrong. That's a wrong thing. That's victim mentality. That is slaughter mentality. Let the child. 
be strong. Laat het kind dan juist gesterkt worden. And go there and compete and win. En dat hij dan daar gaat en dat hij een wedstrijd gaat en dat hij gaat winnen. Maybe you lost, but they are going to win. Misschien verlies je, maar er zal een dag aanbreken dat je zal winnen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Number five. Number five. Be overprotective. Overbeschermd. Overprotective. Overbeschermd. We create a bubble. We gebruiken, we maken dan een bubbel om het kind. And we say the child is safe there. En dan zeggen we, het kind is hier veilig. But we forget that the child we have to compete with people in the world. Maar we vergeten dat dit kind die moet dan straks met de mensen in de wereld omgaan. Protect your child. Bescherm uw kind. But don't overprotect them. Maar niet overbeschermen. Number six. Number six. Expecting too much perfection. Te veel per perfectie verwachten voor het kind. High expectations are healthy. Hogere verwachtingen zijn gezond. But too much of it has its consequences. Its consequences. Maar te dat heeft altijd um, negatieve effecten. When the expectations are too high for them. Wanneer de verwachtingen te hoog zijn voor deze kinderen. They do nothing. They just relax. Dan doen ze niks. Dan gaan ze dan niks doen. Create things they can take step by step to the top. Maar geen dingen die ze stap voor stap kunnen leren om dat te bereiken. Number seven. Nummer zeven. Punishing children instead of disciplining them. Het bestraffen in plaats van disciplineren. Kids need to learn the consequences of their actions. Kinderen moeten leren de consequenties van hun acties. There is a big difference between discipline and punishment. Er is een groot verschil tussen uh, uh, straffen en disciplineren. When you punish a child, wanneer je dan een kind bestraft, it damages a lot of things in that child. Het beschadigt heel veel in dit kind. But when you discipline a child, maar als je een kind disciplineert, you explain to the child what he has done wrong. En dan leg je uit wat dit kind verkeerd heeft gedaan. You let the child know the consequences. En je laat het kind weten wat de consequenties zijn. And you show the child the right thing to do. En je laat het kind zien het juiste wat hij moet doen. Amen. Amen. That's discipline. En dat is disciplineren. Punishment is you saying, oh, you did this thing, come here, come here, come here, come here. Dus straffen is dan van, hey, jij hebt dit gedaan, kom, kom. From today. Vanaf vandaag. You be eating two times a day. Dan zul je dan twee keer per dag eten. You lose one. Ja, ben je bij een eten kwijt. That is your punishment. En dat is jouw straf. How does that change the child from lying? Hoe zou dat dan maken dat het kind minder gaat liegen? Does it? Dat, it dat means he has to create another way to be eating three times a day. Dat betekent dat het kind iets moet gaan doen om ervoor te zorgen dat hij weer die derde maaltijd kan krijgen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the last one for today. En de laatste voor vandaag. And I will stop. Is ignoring to teach and train your child. Het weigeren om te onderwijzen. Ignoring to teach and train your child. Het negeren om te onderwijzen. Het negeren om je kind te trainen en onderwijzen. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6, "Say, train up a child in the way he should go. When he grows, he will not depart from it." Spreuken 22 vers 16 zegt van leer het kind in zijn jonge jaren van hoe hij het moet doen en als het dan ouder wordt, dan zal hij het doen. Sometimes we don't teach our children. Soms dan leren we onze kinderen niet. We don't teach them. We onderwijzen hun. We only talk to them when they make mistakes. We spreken alleen tot hun als ze fouten maken. We don't train them. Wij trainen ze niet. What I mean teach is Met trainen bedoel ik You pick up a topic Dan heb je een onderwerp You explain to your child how it looks, what it is En dan ga je dan daarover in gesprek en dan leg je uit wat hoe het is And you, you show the child how to do that thing En dan laat je het kind zien van hoe hij of zij het moet doen And correct that child En je corrigeert het kind Many of us are who we are today because what our parents taught us. Many of us are who we are today because what our parents taught us. Many of us are who we are today because what our parents taught us. Many of us are who we are today because what our parents taught us. Many of us are who we are today because what our parents taught us. Many of us are who we are today because what our parents taught us.
vanuit datgene wat onze ouders ons hebben geleerd. But we don't have time. Maar we hebben geen tijd. We have left television and social media to teach our children. We hebben dan televisie en de social media uh, de overhand gegeven om onze kinderen te onderwijzen. And some of us are afraid of our children. En sommige van ons die zijn bang voor onze kinderen. Once you are afraid of your child, als je eenmaal bel, bang bent voor je kind, and you act towards your child from fear, and you start handelen vanuit angst, is not love anymore. Dan is het geen liefde. Children will try. They will do all kinds of things to frighten you. Ze zullen van alles proberen om u bang te maken. So that you can do what they want. Zodat u gaat doen datgene wat zij willen. Don't fall for it. Maar val daar niet tafel. Sit the child down and talk to that child. Laat het kind zitten en spreek tot dat kind. Train that child. Train dat kind. Teach that child. Onderwijs dat kind. If you don't, als je dat niet doet, the child is going to blame you one day. Dan zou dan dat kind jou dan op één dag beschuldigen. Because he never learned anything from you. Want die heeft dan nooit iets geleerd. You were only shouting when he makes mistake. Je was alleen maar aan het schreeuwen toen hij of zij een fout maakte. Let me challenge the women. Laat me dan de vrouwen uitdagen. How many of you? Hoeveel van ons? Patiently. Geduldig. Have taken your 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 daughters. Heeft dan de de dochters. And teach your daughters how to dress. En uh, heeft dan de kinderen, ge, uh, de dochters gesproken van hoe ze zich moeten aankleden. You teach them. En je onderwijst. What every color means. Wat elke kleur van betekenis heeft. And how a woman should dress. En hoe een vrouw zich moet kleden. And go with them and buy these dresses. En dat je dan met hun dan uitgaat en dat je met hun die dingen gaat kopen. You don't do it. Je doet het niet. But when they buy the one that gets here. En wanneer you ze say hey nee 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 nee. Je doet het niet en wanneer ze dan een hele die tot hier komt kopen, dan zeg je van hé, hey, dat doe je niet. And when the father talks, you say give them freedom. Which freedom? En wanneer de vader spreekt, dan zeg je van geef je hun vrijheid. Wat voor vrijheid die je doet ook? And then the men. En dan de mannen. How many of you? Hoeveel van Have really taken time. Je hebt daadwerkelijk de tijd genomen. Teach your son how to dress. Om dan uw zoon te leren hoe ze hoe die zich moet kleden. Please believe me, they will protest. Ze zullen protesteren. They will fight. Ze zullen vechten. But insist. Maar ga daarmee door. If they change it later, als het later veranderen, is their problem. Dan is het hun probleem. But teach them. Maar onderwijs het hun. Don't leave it to chance. Laat het dan niet voor een kans. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I hope you have learned something today. Yes. This is not what you expect, but this is what the Holy Ghost gives you. Go home and use it. Don't fear your children. Let them protest. Let them shout. Let them try to manipulate. Stand on your point. Because later they are going to thank you. Trust me, they are going to thank you. Vertrouw mij, ze zullen u bedankt laten. Amen. I want all the men to come out. I want to pray for you. Ik wil dat alle mannen naar voren komen, want ik wil voor mannen bidden. Just give me five minutes. I want to pray for you. Ik wil voor alle mannen bidden. Just come out. Okay. Willen alle mannen alsjeblieft naar voren komen? Let's empower you for the next round. Laten we dan u bekrachtigen voor de volgende ronde. Of your life. Van je leven. Whatever age you are in. Wat voor leeftijd je dan ook hebt. There is something for you to do. Er is iets voor u om te doen. And without the hand of God. En zonder de hand van God. And the power of God. En de kracht van God. It is very difficult. Dan is het heel moeilijk. We are going to ask His help. We gaan dan zijn uh, hulp vragen. We are going to ask for the help of God. Wij gaan vragen voor de hulp van God. For the next step of our lives. Voor de volgende stap in ons leven. So I want you to lift up your hands wherever dus you are. Dus ik wil dat je dat je dan je handen op hebt. I'm just going to join you. Uh, the ladies, please, uh, you are so generous to pray, please. Laat de vrouwen ook samen met ons bidden voor mij. Begin to ask God for help. Help, help, help. So Father, I need your help for the next step of my life. I need your help. I need your help, oh Lord. I need your help. 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 
I need your hand upon my life for the next phase of my life. You have called me for something very important to be a father. I do not take it for granted. I want you to help me. I want your hand to be upon my life. I know that when your hand is upon my life, I will succeed. I need speed. I want to be a significant man. I don't want to be a confused man. I want to be a real man. That knows what he's supposed to do. That knows his responsibility. That knows his place in the family. That knows what to do. I want to be a provider. I want to be a protector. I want to be an instructor. I want to be a teacher. I want to be significant to Lord. I want your hand upon my life. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. And the women begin to pray for the men here. That they will stand as men. That they will stand as men. They will not be intimidated by anybody. That they will not fail. But they will be history makers. That they will dare to do something big. That they will not hide behind other people. That they will come out and do great and mighty things. That they will challenge themselves to be the best that God has created them to be. Now begin to pray for them, everybody. Begin to pray for them. Begin to pray for them. Begin to speak out those words from your mouth. Begin to speak on their lives. Begin to speak on their lives. Begin to speak on their lives. Begin to speak on them. If you are there, begin to speak on any man, your father, your uncle, your friend. Your, your whoever that is a man in your family begin to speak upon their lives in the name of Jesus. Men cry out to God, cry out, cry out, cry out, cry out, cry out. Ye katara base again, ya be ready getting. Pratata, pate kata. Ye bradisa renda kada da da. Cry out, cry out, cry out to me. Cry out, cry out, cry out, cry out, cry out. Cry out. Come against every obstacle that has been against men from your family. Whatever has pulled them down will not pull you down in the name of Jesus. Women, you are not praying. Pray for them now. Pray for them. If you have a male child, your husband is there, you have a male in your family, it is time for you to be praying. If you are a young girl, it's time for you to be praying. In the name of Jesus. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let his power be all over you. Let my anoint you as a man. May you find that which you are looking for in Jesus' name. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Lord establish you strong. Establish you strong. Let your word become words of wisdom, words of strength, words of confidence that other men will listen to. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the Lord establish you. Let the Lord, Lord take you from where you are and bring you to where you're supposed to be. Let the cries, the midnight cries, end in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord fulfill what he has promised you to do. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you, my brother. Where you've been neglected, you become a boy. In the name of Jesus. 
That which you desire, God will give it to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray God's hand upon your life. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Let your shoulder be made of steel so that you can carry things that are coming your way. Let your shoulder be strong as a father, as a man, that you will stand tall and be able to hold on to what is coming on your shoulder. <coughs> the hands of the Lord be upon you, in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you will be established, <laughs> that fear will not take you away from what God has said you are going to become. Circumstances will not take you away. They will establish you in the name of Jesus. The Lord give you voice to speak in Jesus' name. I pray for you, young man. Give me your hand. I pray for you, young man, that in your young age, you will see the hand of God upon your life. That you will speak and people of your generation will listen. That you become a father. That people will come around to listen to the wisdom and the stories that you have to tell. The Lord put his hand upon your shoulder and give you wisdom in Jesus' name. I pray for you, Lord, that your strength will not be a waste, but your strength will be there for the weak. That you will become a strength for the weak. Your voice <coughs> will help those who are weak. They will come crowding to you and you will speak. I pray, hand of God, to be upon you. To be a mighty father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Is it what? Is it what? Amen. Okay. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, I pray that your son will be strong. Your son will be strong. He will be strong. He will be strong, he will be strong in faith and strong in words and strong in action. Where you are taking him, Father, take him there. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for your son of God. Gracious and ever living God, let your hands be upon his shoulder. Let your strength come upon him in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, take away this shyness and give boldness in Jesus' name. Precious and ever living God, King of glory, I speak into this life. Let there be a turnaround, a full turnaround in the name of Jesus. Let there be a turnaround, a turnaround for the best in Jesus' name. Amen. Gracious and ever living God, King of glory, I pray for this young man. Father, you know his heart. You know his loving heart. Use that heart for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Answer his questions. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's well. Precious Lord, be a father to this young man. Okay. Have an encounter with him in a quiet time. Reveal yourself to him in young age. Let him have an encounter with you. In Jesus' name, amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, so the Bible's will come, and sometimes you don't understand where they're coming from. But the Lord will stand for you. The Lord will speak for you at the moment you don't even expect. I pray that your hands will be strong, your heart will be strong, and your steps will be strong. And God will continue to guide you and protect you. Fear not in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. That you will settle down in your heart. You will settle in your heart. In the name of Jesus. Father, this is in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you. 
pray for sound health, sound mind, strength. I pray that your wisdom will be given all trances and space will be created for it. That men will come to hear you. I saw you a few weeks ago. Yeah. And you promised you will come. Yeah. And you are here. Yeah. Holy Spirit. a new visibility for him. Let his talents be seen by those who will reward it, not those who will use and abuse it. In the name of Jesus. Shout, I shall not labor under another heat. I shall, I shall not labor under another heat. Say like you mean it. I shall, I shall not labor under another heat. Somebody say, What belongs to me? What belongs to me? Shall not be taken from me. Shall not be taken from me. Let me hear the prayer. I want to hear. Let us step 